the visit of Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, to Israel is exceptionally important. It is a historic visit. It is my privilege to accompany him. It is the very first official visit of a member of the British royal family to Israel since the establishment of the state. Prince William is palpably excited about the visit and so far it's been going really well. We know that the Princess William is a grandson of righteous of nature and he was visiting Yad Vashem. It was very exciting, no? A year ago Prince William paid a visit to the Stutthof concentration camp in Germany. Before he went there, he and I had a conversation and he told me how important he saw it was for him to be a role model for all of society, but in particular for people of his generation, young people around the world who did not witness the atrocities of the Shoah and who need to hear the right kind of message. His visit to Yad Vashem yesterday was very much a follow-up visit because he wants to project a message to all of our society we must recognize what happened in the past, we must pay tribute to the memory of the victims, and we must do whatever is within our power to guarantee that we will have a healthy uh, and good society in the future. You know, you're talking about a lot of uh, uh, this uh, visit that's very, very uh, exciting, but before that, uh, the Princess William coming, they have a lot of uh, a, a political uh, arguing about Jerusalem. First, is not to recognize Jerusalem as a capital of Israel. And second, he said that he's going to visit in the occupied places. President Donald Trump recognized uh, Jerusalem as a capital of uh, Israel. And England, not yet. Why is that? What do you think about that? You will notice here, on my lapel, there is a pin. The flags of Israel and of Britain. That's the symbol of this visit. Two countries with exceptionally strong ties. That's what Prince William said in the speech that he made last night at the official residence of the British ambassador to Israel. And that's very much the spirit of this visit. Two countries which have very strong economic, um, business, uh, and other ties. And he comes here as a friend. William's visit here is not the visit of a political leader. He is a member of the royal family. In the course of time, he will one day be king of England. And there is an enormous amount of warmth to the Jewish people, to the Jewish state. He's staying here in Jerusalem. Uh, he pointed out to me various sites, how excited he is here to be in Jerusalem, Ir HaKodesh. And I see him and the future as being somebody who will indeed exude a lot of warmth and friendship towards Jerusalem, the Jewish state, and the Jewish people. You speak with them about this uh, subject? William is not responsible for the public uh, policy, the foreign policy uh, of Britain. He's here as a symbol of the closeness of two countries. His visit is a cause for celebration, for highlighting the connection between the two countries. It's been a long time in in coming, we've needed to wait some time for it, it has arrived. It's an occasion which calls for a true Shehechianu to celebrate a really historic and wonderful day. We know, Rabbi, that in uh, England they have a lot of uh, BDS activity. How do you fight against uh, those organizations that are fighting every day against Israel? It is well known in terms of BDS that there are numerous challenges around the world. And of course, it is important for us to project a positive image for Israel, to get the truth out there. And uh, broadly speaking, the Jewish community in the UK is very supportive of Israel. Uh, I think there is also a very powerful situation here. I'm here in Israel today as part of the delegation of Prince William, working hand in hand, the country together with its Jewish religious leadership, as a sign of a positive connection with Israel. And this is certainly something which, this concept and this idea is one which we are promoting. Before we For end the end, I want, I want to ask you about your community. A little bit more about, about your community people uh, in England. Baruch Hashem, the British Jewish community is thriving. 
Only last week statistics emerged whereby it is clear that we are growing in numbers. Uh, we are succeeding in so many respects, so much to celebrate about. It is my privilege to be the religious head of the British Jewish community. Together with that, we do have our challenges. We've got challenges due to an increase in anti-Semitism and various pressures on us and the secularization of our society, challenges in education and in other spheres. Bezrat Hashem, we will overcome challenges. We are great allies of Medinat Israel. And we support Israel, and we want Israel to succeed. And Bezrat Hashem, Almighty God, will bless the whole of the Jewish people. And like you say, Shechianu. Absolutely. This is a wonderful day for us.